here, fellow knights, the vile William de Mark is within. And you're quite sure that the mobster you interrogated was telling the truth? I have faith that he would dare not lie. The blazing order, my holy charge, are well versed in the arts of torture. <laughs> Mr. Hidalgo, that's... that's incredibly startling. When the wicked rise, it is sometimes necessary to ply wicked crafts to stop them. You know, friend, I'd like to hear more about your knightly order thing later. Like, uh, what exactly a whole deal really is. I feel like that can wait, at least for now. Then onward, brave heroes. Let us descend into the sepulchre! The sepulchre. I imagine that Hildalgo got that name from the fellow he interrogated. Another urban legend. Supposedly the hidden sanctuary for the old kings and queens of Thermopolis before they got the boot. It was supposed to be haunted. Now, the little cave, barely big enough for me to crawl through, led into a narrow hallway. It's about that time that I realized just how over our heads we were in. Time once again, dear listeners, to leap back into the fray with the Questing Murders! We rejoin Saurik and Razumil as they follow the mysterious, if insane, Night Hill Dolgo as they delve into the depths beneath Queen's Garden Park. Will they reach Sneebly and Northup before DeMarc can leave his mark? Only time will tell, dear listeners, on this week's harrowing episode of Crime and Mystery. This way... Mr. Hidalgo, some discretion, please. What? Discretion? It's the last thing he would expect! Ha <laughs> ha! Forward! That man is even more bombastic than you, Mr. Selric. Yeah, I like him. <sighs> of course you do. Look, the good thing is that he probably is the last thing that Demak is expecting. <laughs> They clearly know each other! He's going to give away our position! Sure, but it's not like we're actually gonna sneak up on the guy anyway. There's one cave tunnel so far, and- The path branch is here, good knight! Don't say a god's damned word, Doc. <laughs> mm, who? Me? Uh, never. I'm content to silently rebel. Let us split up and- Oh no, no. We're sticking together. We're not splitting up again. Oh. Well. Alright. Trust me, it would be much safer if we stick together. Then forward! Together! My skin crawled as we went through the tunnels. I ain't exactly claustrophobic, but it gave you the feeling of being entombed. This place was abandoned by time, a corpse under the city, meant to be forgotten, and we were crawling through the bones. Thermopolis was an old city, not ancient, but old enough that there were plenty of forgotten places never meant to be seen by daylight again. We made our way through the right tunnel, going slowly. Hildalgo settled down a bit, getting almost grim as we moved forward. The fellow is almost schizophrenic in his attitude, ranging between wild and crazy to an image of coming death. So, Hildalgo, now is as good a time as any, tell us about the Blazing Order. It is a secret order. I can speak little of it, lest the forces of evil take advantage of our hidden ways. But wouldn't it help us to know how we can defeat DeMarc? I am sworn to secrecy on our ways. We will simply have to beat the wickedness from him with good old martial prowess. And clubs. Big, spiky clubs. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I'm down for that. Uh, of course you are. What is that noise? <gasps> the gas. Cover your mouths. 
We'll return to the show after a brief message from these sponsors. Are you having trouble with that secondhand radio? Feel like it's time to get a better record player for your next soiree? We feel that you're right! It's time for a change, dear listeners. Gorgon Gramophones is here to help with that change. Right now, Gorgon is giving away free cleaning implements, including Yeti fur brushes, for your favorite record players with the next purchase of a gramophone or magograph. Gorgon Gramophones. You will be petrified with any other purchase. And now, back to the show. Quick, get down. I got an idea. You're a coat, brave knight? What will that do? I don't know if it'll help, but the coat is thick enough and... If this is a trench gas, it won't linger for long. Doc, don't move out from under the coat. I... Ugh. God, it's above. It reeks. Mr. Sarek, what are you doing? Get on your stomach, quickly. I... I can't... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Hero! Hero! What are, what are you? Oh, holy crap. Mr. Mr. Sowark, the gas! Uh, everything's so... so uh, spinning. My name, My name is Lillian. This is Lillian Northup, reporter for the Thermopolis Tribune. Oh, we're very, we're very pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Northup. I'm afraid I'm here on business. Be sure to get my picture from my good side. What in the hell? She's dead on account of you. She's dead because of you, Strongbow. My little Rena. Because you couldn't fucking find her. She's dead on account of you. Look, I don't, I don't know you so well, mister. But when you aren't being so thick-headed, you seem like a good guy. But things get better. And I don't want to sound selfish, but the only person who matters to me in this world is missing. If that woman's going to derail to you... We'll find, we'll find her. Don't worry. Don't worry. If you want to continue making endless mistakes for that awful manipulative woman, then I won't stop you. Yes, I'm sorry. He had Janie. I wanted, I wanted to, tell to tell you, and I would, and do, I would do anything, anything to save my sister. sister. I, I hope you go find, find her before this had to happen. Come, little pests. Into my parlor, if you dare. By my holy charge, your crimes against this world will end today, William! <laughs> Mr. Sawick, quickly! I see Northrop and Sneebly! Uh, where the hell am I? Oh, oh dear. Alright. I'll attempt to rescue them then. Well, Hidalgo seems to be keeping Demark busy for the moment. You rest, my friend. It wasn't our fault. It's not my fault. It's not gonna be my fault again. <sighs> Come here, Demark. I I got a fist for ya. The strange toxic gas has laid low our brave green gumshoe. What will happen next within the bowels of the questing killer's lair? Will the team be able to defeat the demented knight for good? Or will they watch as the city of Thermopolis is pitted into chaos and insanity? Speaking as someone who lives here, I hope they succeed. Tune in next week for the grand finale of The Questing Murders! If you like your programming mixed with great music, tune in for the Tidy Tusks Radio Hour every Thursday at 5 p.m. Here's a show that promises to keep Thursdays from dragging on. So keep an eye on your local newspaper for the time of Tidy Tusks Time. 
This is Johnny Rockwell speaking for the Mopolis News Radio. Keep your days magical, folks.